Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is rated E for everyone, 10 and up by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Classic Mode. I am Derez of Derez Plays. In the last episode, we played as Palutena, the Goddess of Light, and did a little divine intervention on the battlefield, in which we fought characters who had religious themes to their games, such as The Legend of Zelda with the three goddesses, uh, Cloud and Final Fantasy, Shulk and Xenoblade Chronicles, along with a couple others. In this episode, we are going to move on to one of the original fighters. Fighters. That's incorrect. To one of the original video game mascots, there we go, Pac-Man. We're dealing with an ageless classic. Which could mean uh, any sorts of things. It looks like we're going to be dealing with other classic character icons. Starting off with some moves, Pac-Man's side B move is a toss of the pack pellets to which he follows the trail. That's actually a really good hit right there. Pac-Man's down B, if I remember correctly, is a fire hydrant. Which can do some pretty strong damage if you set up the fire hydrant right on top of the enemy. His up B move is this trampoline of sorts. And that's the Pac-Man we all know. So with that power play, let's move on to Ice Climbers and Rob. Rob isn't exactly a video game character as discussed in his episode. However, he is a retro character who is quite iconic in video game history. That's not what I meant to do. Thank you. Let's finish blowing you up. I still haven't got around to Pac-Man's neutral B. His neutral B is kind of a assortment of items that he can do. We're dealing with a lot of We're definitely dealing with... Uh, I frick... I hate Simon Belmont and his stupid whip. I'm going after him next. Officially. That is my laser beam. I'm not impressed. Of course I'll continue. 
Simon grabs my weapon, grabs my final smash. At least I defeated Samus. That's not going to be a very impressive point increase. Metal Gear came out in this time? Are you kidding me? Oh, all of these characters are awful. There. One done. Got him. What a waste of an item. I'll take the Rage Gun. Because the Rage Gun will do super damage due to my high percentage. So yeah, Pac-Man... Uh, Pac-Man's neutral special... Wow, I am fuming and furious. Get out of here, Marth, with your critical hit. We're on the bonus stage. As we all know, I don't like the bonus stage. I've grown bored of the bonus stage. Dracula! What? This is an odd character to be fighting for Pac-Man. Defeated Dracula's main form, now let's deal with Dracula in his scary, scary form. I like staying behind Dracula, though you do have to be careful because any form of attack behind Dracula may result in death. Though we were able to get through it.
And we are definitely not finishing in the sevens. Ooh, I like that. 8.4. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Classic Mode. If you liked what you saw, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Mash that like button and subscribe if you have not for more Super Smash Bros. Ultimate content. You can also join us on the Discord, the Derezd Grid, where you can talk to other people in the community and just chat and hang out. You can also catch me on Twitch now and follow my streams so you can stay up to date with some live action interaction chat with me while I play video games, and just enjoy a good time. I'll see you guys all in the next episode where we take on probably one of my favorite Fire Emblem characters, because he is so unique as a Fire Emblem character, Robin. We will be playing as male Robin though, so just to give you that heads up. I'll see you guys then.